Yeah. Back. Back. Back with another video. Yeah, I'm in your city. Up. Or you and mine. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. All right. So I know this came out a couple months ago. This was a big topic. Hopefully it ain't too old and y'all still want to watch it. But I wanted to. I saw it pop up. Let's go. Hmm. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what I do. Because I want to get my take. And I want to understand this video too. Because I've heard about it. Um, it's called What is a Woman? And um, you know a big thing going on now. Is, you know. The world has forgotten. Has started creating stuff. Mm -hmm. So I want to see what this is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Being a dad is one of the great privileges of my life. <laughs> Give my son a BB gun and that's just about all the emotional support he needs. My daughter, on the other hand, I've heard people say that there are no differences between male and female. Those people are idiots. I'm a husband. I'm a father of four. I host a talk show. I give speeches. I write books. I like to make sense of things. But making sense of females is a whole other matter. Even astrophysicist Stephen Hawking, who could come up with a theory on black holes, was completely dumbfounded by women. Women. They are a complete mystery. And now our culture is telling us that the differences between girls and boys don't matter. That if you identify as something, then you are that thing. How do we help our kids make sense of this when they're bombarded with conflicting messages about gender and identity? Forget trying to figure out women. The real question is, what is a woman? As you grow, your body changes from that of a young girl to that of a woman. Soon, Molly will be a young woman, having dates, going to dances in lovely romantic dresses. The boy's shoulders are broad and his body muscular, while the girl's body is more curved. I'd like to know more about different kinds of hormones. The presence of these hormones in the blood brings about many changes in the bodies of both boys and girls. <laughs> Being a woman is one of the things I like the best about myself. I think you'll like it too. That's how it is. I must say that too. You just hit the pause button real quick. What do you look like that? What? <laughs> like you scared of what? something. Ooh. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Nature seems to always tell the truth. Had a little mixing going the, on there. I can hear the pause button. What were you saying? I, I, I agree with what she said. The most important, one of the things that I really like about myself is the fact that I am a woman. Exactly. Okay, let's go. Gender something, 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 and so and it's kind of confusing. No, I didn't say all that. I just said that one thing, and that's it. I got you. Mm -hmm. Even when we don't want to hear it. Truth is, I'm not very good at fishing. But what is truth? Is there a truth? Is this what progress looks like? Can my boys really become girls? Do I have four daughters? Do I now have to pay for four weddings? Is there a son trapped in my daughter's body? If so, how do I get him out? Are any of my kids who they claim to be? Who are these people? Who am I? I better see a therapist. In the state of Tennessee, I'm a licensed marital and family therapist, which basically means I've been trained up to think about like systems, family systems, how we were raised up, how that shapes who we are today. So on your website, if you'll, if you'll bear with me, sure. quoting, you say, I use a combination of approaches in my therapeutic work, including anti-oppression, feminist, and narrative frameworks. I rely deeply on systems theory and understanding that individuals are products of and in dialogue with our surroundings, including our families, broader culture, workplaces, nature, and political climates. What uh, does that mean? Yeah, um, so thinking about the modalities that I use, um, I'm definitely informed by like feminist um, family therapy um, and the idea is that um, we live in gendered worlds where there are certain imperatives that are placed on us about who we are and what we do based on how we've been gendered. 
from the minute I was assigned female, I was told, okay, these are the kind of clothing that you're gonna wear, these are the kind of, the, the type of play that you're gonna engage in as a child, um, the path that maybe your life will take because of social expectation. What do you, what do you mean by assigned female? Who, who assigns female? Yeah, so um, most times people, when they're born, um, they're assigned a gender. By the, the doctors. doctors. Yeah. Like, what do they, what do they base that? Call that. Assignment on. How's that? So basically, it's it's based on genitalia. This right. All right, now, um, good, great. So people looking at keyboard. I say so stop. You pause. You get assigned a gender by the doctor, but how do you get assigned a gender by the doctor? It's because you have a particular hormone or certain specific things, genitals mm -hmm. that say you're a boy or a girl. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Because she's just making it seem like, oh, the doctor says you're going to be a boy or you're going to be a girl. Like, there's no evidence as to say, to say what makes you a woman. Dangly or not dangly? You said, like, oh, we got to use a mouse in the like bait. Natalia and deciding, okay, this is a, a girl or a boy. Um, and we know now that, like, that sex and gender are so much more than just this binary. Some women have penises, right? Some men have vaginas. Um, no, what? That, that's not how how gender works. How do we know that? How do we know that that's not true? What? Men with vaginas. Never heard of that in my entire life. Have you ever heard of that? Mm-mm. <laughs> Where did we? Where did we learn that from? Yeah. Well, we. I. I learned that um, from hearing from transgender people who've said like, oh, I'm a trans woman. Um, and just because I happen to have a penis, right, that doesn't mean that this is like who I am as a person um, or, or that genitalia doesn't equal gender, um, who they are, their gender, their gender expression. Um, <laughs> that, yeah, a trans woman is a woman. I'm sorry. With the fluidity of these things, how do I know if, if I'm a woman? You know, I... I That's a great I question. Like like scented candles. And yeah. I've watched Sex in the City. Yeah. Um, yeah. See, this is how people uh, get further and further confused. Yeah. Further and further confused. When did we get the here? she was explaining, he kept going down like. What? When did we get here? So how do I know? Yeah, Matt, that question right there, like that question is like, when it's asked with a lot of curiosity, right? That's the beginning of a lot of people's like gender identity development journeys. If my mom who gave birth to me is a woman mm -hmm. and my wife is a woman, um, though I haven't asked her, maybe I should. Um, but if they're all women and also the boy who sits down <laughs> with you and says, I, I think I'm a girl actually is one, then, then what is a woman? Mm. Yeah. Great question. I'm not a woman, so I I can't really answer that. What? I thought therapy would make me less confused. Right. Am I the only one feeling this way? No. I need to hit the road and find out. Wow. OMG. Oh, We're talking MG. about gender in society. Let me start with a real basic question. What is a woman? A woman? <laughs> I don't want to assume. But I'm, why can't somebody just be like me? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, help me understand. You guys are all yeah, women? We're all women. Yeah, we're women. So how would you define it, like in the simplest terms? That is hard. Yeah, it is. It is a stumper. A woman is someone that likes to be pretty and think of themselves as a delicate creature. I'm pretty and delicate. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I could be a woman too. Yes, you could. Defining womanhood is just a project of someone who identifies as a woman. Yeah, but what, like, what do they identify? You see what I'm saying? What do they identify as? They identify as a woman, but what is that? I honestly don't know. It's a simple question. So why is it so hard to answer? Because people want to change it. 
They want to change it. This is going to take it. some serious investigation. They want to change it. This is what our society for all of human existence. So as your child start developing, it's like, Dad, I'm a woman. No, you're not. You're a big booty boy. <laughs> what? 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 No, I'm sorry. Women were understood to be a certain thing. So what changed? No one can seem to answer the question now. Over 2,000 surgeries and counting, Dr. Marcy Bowers is the nation's preeminent sex change surgeon. Mm. Surely someone who does sex change surgeries can answer what a woman is. Of course, California, right? Yeah, <laughs> back on this side of the of coast. Of course. Dr. Marcy Bowers, first of all, thanks for talking to us. My pleasure. So you're a world-renowned gynecologist and surgeon. You're also a transgender woman. Can you tell me a little bit about... Well, I mean, I, I identify as a woman, but... You're a woman, right. I'm a woman with... I mean, that's my life, day-to-day, mm -hmm. -day, but I have a transgender history. Hmm. So one, one thing on your website, it says uh, gender-affirm, GAV, gender-affirming vaginoplasty. Mm -hmm. What is that exactly? A vaginoplasty is creation of... of female, uh, a female vagina and vulva. We're altering the physical characteristics of the individual to, to fit better with a gender identity that, that is female. This is all constructed from the penis? Yes, that's right. Ah, oh, sound painful. Quite refined in the sense that they really, not only do they look like female anatomy, but they also function that way. For the most part. I mean, certainly it's a bit part. of a Faustian bargain. You know, it's not perfect. Does anyone ever regret their surgeries? Or, well, we know they do, but how often do people regret their surgeries? Well, actually, we don't know that they do. There are legitimate detransitioners, and there are people who truly feel that in their journey, they may have made a mistake. Now, fortunately, this is a really, really uncommon phenomenon. I don't know if you've ever heard of people in the trans-abled community. These are people who are physically able-bodied but feel like they should be disabled or identify as such. Uh, for example, a man who has two arms but feels like he should have one. If a, if a man in this kind of marginalized community was went to the doctor and said, I want to have my arm cut off, do you think that... That doesn't have anything to do with gender identity. Well, it's uh, so someone's... Someone's self-identity, how someone identifies. That's, son, so that's someone who has a, um, a, and I'll accept it as a mental diagnosis, a psychiatric condition. I don't even pretend to know what aptomenophilia is all about, but somehow it's the idea that you, and, you know, you're fascinated or charmed by having a limb or part of a limb missing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would say that's, uh, pardon my non-medical language, kooky. I, I'm totally, like, lost. What does that have to do he's with... He's saying... No, he's saying... He's pointing it back to saying, what about... So you say that's kooky. What about body parts? You're saying that's not the body parts you're supposed to have. I'm, I want... I got a vagina, but I really want a penis. So she's kind of contradicting her own self. Oh, okay, I see what you're based saying. Based on the question. Yeah, yeah, I get you now. You don't see any... You think this is totally irrelevant? Yep. Alexa, so cancel. The biggest, broadest question is Alexa, what is a woman? Cancel. A woman is a, you know, it's a combination of your physical attributes and then what you're showing to the world and the gender clues that you give. And hopefully those match your gender identity. The critics on the other side of this, of, uh, of this of this issue there aren't many but go ahead there aren't many who would disagree with what you're saying about well you know the dinosaurs of the world are certainly out there <laughs> dinosaurs yeah. sounds like she's in denial <sighs> I mean, you know she's like this is what i believe for my own self and this is what i chose and it's the kind of work I do. So anybody who goes against that, it's few and far between that that go against that. But that's not true. 
You got a gazillion people on YouTube. That's you know what I'm saying. What you doing? I'm actually I'm gonna see what Google says or what they can bring up. How does God describe a woman? I'm gonna keep playing. Uh huh. <clears throat> How long have you been uh, running the shop here? Twenty five years. Wow. Now you had an incident here a little while ago that went really viral online. Oh, I heard Lots about of that. reaction in the public. Aberdeen Councilwoman Tiesa Meskis confronted owner Don Suker about a sign he posted in his store. One day I just put the sign up over here. Wait a minute. And, uh, what that sign say? He came around the corner. <laughs> and uh, he came around the corner and I thought, okay, I recognize him. I says, uh, oh, I recognize you. You're our new city councilman. He says, no, I'm your new city. Wait. Oh. Of your physical attributes and then what? How long have you been uh, running the shop here? 25 years. Owner Don Suker about a sign he posted in Boy. his store. <laughs> One day I just put the sign up over here and uh, he came around the corner and I thought, okay, I recognize him. I says, uh, oh, I recognize you. You're our new city councilman. He says, no, I'm your new city councilwoman. So it was, it was kind of on from there. You know what? It's bullshit. No, what you're spouting is bullshit. Uh, no, it's not. It Trans is... women are women, sir. That sign is bullshit. I've been doing this 25 years. I've never had a problem with anybody, whether they're gay, transsexual, anything. Now, you're saying council man, he, this individual was saying, I'm a woman. Right. And, then, and you said you're not a woman. How, how, how do okay. you know that that person's not a woman? How do I know? Yeah. Well, uh... Common sense. Trans women are women. Doesn't doesn't the science say that if someone identifies as a woman, then they are? No, no. Now that's completely bogus. I don't care if you think you're a sheepdog, and you come into my store. It don't matter to me. Just don't come in and try to shove that shit down my throat. <laughs> if it makes them feel better, what about their, their feelings? I don't give a shit about. Right on, so brother. Right on. I agree. <laughs> but I'm nothing just saying, I feel him say. all the way, man. Don't that's nothing force. Else to if that's say. what you believe, that's cool on 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 you. That's your walk. But don't force me and to see that's fall into. The, but that's but that's what but that's how to that's how the world is gone. Spell of lies. Yeah. To slip into the spell of lies and walk sleep. Soon it's gonna be a time where, as us being married couple, I'm a man. She's a woman. It's going to be like, that's a problem. You know, so. Let's keep listening. Feelings. I'm old. What about the Star Wars universe? Jar Jar Binks, pansexual, do you think? Transgender? Um, why, would I, why would I even care? It's, if it's his truth. <laughs> well, it ain't true. You're not a scientist. You're not a gender studies major. Or are you? No. no? Okay. How do you know? That you're a man. How do I know that I'm a, I guess because I got a dick. <laughs> well, I guess Don isn't overthinking it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs>